What's up? <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, I'm Liz and I don't have my shit together. In terms of patterns, well, in terms of a lot of things, but especially in terms of patterns, like I've got a lot of patterns and I don't really have a good inventory, a good catalog of them. So I decided I'm going to make a Pinterest board for each category of pattern and then I'm gonna catalog them all. Yeah, it might just be fun to see what I've got and how to organize it and maybe it'll help you out with your organization skills or maybe this will just be funny. I don't know. So come with me. Grab your favorite beverage of choice. Um, coffee, tea, water, beer, vodka, tea with some vodka in it. Just kidding, this is just tea. It's just tea. Okay, bye. A few days later, I am going to start by creating some boards on my Pinterest. Let's see here. I've got quite a few Pinterest boards. One of them is retro patterns I own. It's not really helping me here. So new create board. All right, so I ended up with skirt, blouse, dress, coat, trousers and shorts, lingerie, swimwear, costume and accessory boards. So I'm gonna go through all the boxes of my patterns and just start pinning away. It's gonna take a while. So to try to save time, I'm going to just type in the pattern number and see if there's already pins in existence. And if there are, I'll just repin someone else's. And if not, I'll take my own photo and pin my own. Safari dress. I used the top, the bodice of this dress to make my um, patio blouse. I use this one to make a tiki blouse. I use this one to make a wrap top, obviously. <laughs> it's just kind of bulky around my waist. Not really a fan. And for ones that are, you know, a top and a bottom like this, I just pin one in the top and then one in the bottom section. So I pin twice. Of course, you could forget my, uh, my dirndl. <laughs> I do have plans to remake this, so stay tuned happening very soon. Ah, this one. Love this one. I use this to make shorts and I've made, I haven't made the top just as a top, but I've made the shorts and I've made the bolero and I've also made, I've made the, the top and bottom and created a dress. Really nice shorts pattern. I did have to alter it quite a bit to fit my booty, but not shocking. You know what? I'm actually going to make a play suit board. Oh yeah. And I've actually, I've made this really cute. I, I did end up changing the front to tie. I think I have to, I have to figure out the, the shoulder neckline situation with that because I have to tie it pretty tight and it kind of gives me a pancake boob. You might recognize this one. The video about it. UE. So I have actually made the bolero. Really, really good. Cute bolero. Definitely, definitely gonna make more. That's one box down. A whole bunch more to go. You know what, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to order these in ascending order so that I can know exactly where I'm looking. Alright, next box. My buddy Ruth Marie made this. It's going to go in the costumes board. Another friend of mine also coincidentally named Ruth, uh, sent me this pattern. Thank you, Ithaca Maven on Instagram. Very, very sweet. 
Very Rachel Maxi vibes, if you ask me. Ah, I've made this one a couple of times. This actually was the pattern that got me hooked on vintage sewing. Fond place in my heart. I don't know why this one, it always makes me think of mushrooms. It's because the sleeves are kind of mushroom shaped, vaguely. Another one done. Remember this? That's this one. Shout out to Ruth Marie again for inspiring me to make this. We went to Harry Potter World and took pictures because we decided that our outfits were very Harry Potter and Ravenclaw inspired because we're both Ravenclaws. I can't believe I almost forgot my favorite 8447s. I also made the shirt and a modified short sleeve version. The styling in this just makes me laugh. No shade. 1950s with the victory roll. Um, totally modern pants and sass. I made this for my husband for New Year's Eve. Pretty good pattern. And I made this one for Halloween. Definitely gonna be making more of these. Let me know if you're interested in a tutorial. I have a video on this. It's a little cringy, but it checks out. I also have made the skirt. If you can get your hands on this, do. And I have made this pattern. Never quite perfected the fit, but it's a good pattern. Done. One more box to go and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Just kidding, there's no more boxes. It's just a big old conglomeration. this one to my French made inspired dress with that one. This top for my friend Sam for a Disney bound. It turned out super super cute. She loved it. Uh, definitely will make this for myself at some point and I kind of want to make these little shorts. They're really cute. <laughs> I recognize this one too. My goddess gown with this. Ah. Uh, you might recognize this one. Love, love, love this pattern. Serious Sucker Sundress Link. Ah, love, 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 love this pattern. It's one of my favorite, I think, that I've ever sewn. I'll do the blur at some point for the dress. Love it. You know what? Um, I should make a tutorial on this one. All right, I'm back. Hopefully finishing my cataloging project today. So let's go. I think I need to create a new board. Patterns dash miscellaneous. Got a block pattern here. Fitting shell, they call it. But I actually just got a block drafted for me from Pattern Lab, so I'm gonna test that out. And I might not even need that Vogue one. Wow, this has got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Jacket, top, dress, skirt, and pants. This is the whole wardrobe. So I would like to make this skirt sometime because this is the companion skirt to my vest pattern. So I'd like to make it in a brown linen. This has got to be one of my absolute favorite patterns that I own. I cannot wait to make this someday. Ah, just stunning. Like a Hawaiian print would be 
so I made this jacket for my husband for Dapper Day and it fit awesome. This is a really, really good pattern. Highly recommend. And this one is from Lady Marlowe. You might recognize this one from my Tiki play suit. I have a video on that. I didn't really know what I was doing when I altered the fit <laughs> on the, the shorts. I had to add quite a bit of room to account for my booty. It's not the best tutorial, if I'm honest, but you know, hey, maybe I'll remake it sometime. All right, next, charm patterns. I made this view down here with a little standing collar. I have made this dress with the updated version with the sarong. I also kind of hacked the bodice with a skirt and made a, a Halloween dress. And these were part of a almost $200 um, drunken pattern purchase. <laughs> this was a few years ago, so I don't feel as dumb anymore but yeah that was that was fun <laughs> do not drink and shop people i learned my lesson there all right i do have a few pdf patterns so off the top of my head i'm gonna try to remember those all the rest of my patterns are vintage so I don't know if these are all going to be on Pinterest, but I might have to take some photos and post them myself. I scored a lot of these when uh, there was a costume warehouse going out of business, unfortunately, but they had a really good sale, so I got a whole bunch of them. I also got a lot of my vintage patterns from my friend Stephanie Canada, who also has a YouTube channel. I will link her somewhere. And she sells patterns on backroom finds. Thank you, Stephanie. Some of these are in pretty rough shape. I need to get some comic book sleeves. So this is uh, an example of 80s does 40s. Got this on eBay and I thought it would be a nice 40 style blouse, not in polyester. Ah, so cute. Simplicity 2196. I made this skirt. Wonderful pattern. Love it, love it, love it. I can't, I can't give enough compliments about the drafting of this vintage skirt. The sides, it doesn't just go straight down. It kind of dips in a little at the hip, like right below the hip. And it's the first skirt pattern that really fits that hip, hip curve for me. Love it. All right, so to give you an overview of everything I have, some of these are duplicates, remember. Starting with skirts. Got quite a few options here. This definitely makes me feel better. <laughs> I've got a lot. I have a lot of options. And then blouses. I just remembered I am missing, I got a vintage scanned western shirt and I did not log that, so I will log that. Dresses, a lot of dresses. Got a lot of 
I gotta say, it's really nice to be able to scroll through here and see everything. Everything at the same time. Jackets, coats, and boleros. I do love a good bolero. Trousers and shorts. You know what? I need to add... I need to add this to the shorts. Okay. There they are. This is kind of a free-for-all. I might organize this a little bit more. Actually, ooh, I just remembered I can do sections. My favorite bathing suit pattern is the bombshell bathing suit closet case. Whoa. <laughs> I just found my own picture on here. Well, that's funny. Well, that's cool. Somebody pinned, somebody pinned my bathing suit to the bombshell board. <laughs> pinned my own thing. I did make a green one that I think is even better than that one. That one actually was a mock-up. Okay, and I'll just leave these as they are, so. Okay, that's organized better now because that was a little creepy. Costumes. I have these. I don't have a ton of costumes. Accessories. I've got a lot of apron patterns. Play suits and jumpsuits. Suits. Menswear. Don't have a lot of these either. Oh, I'm on my vest. The final frontier is my PDF patterns. I might go through and make each section a little more organized, maybe by decade. That would be kind of cool, actually. Now I think about it. I did make this blouse. This is how to do fashion blouse. Fit kind of odd in the shoulders, and I don't know if that's just me or the drafting, but I do think it turned out nice anyway. This is, uh, again, part of my drunken pattern or ordering shenanigans. And it's not really me anymore, so that kind of sucks. Eh, some of them are okay. This one's cute, but... I do love this skirt, actually, though. Gabriola skirt. And this one, too. Eh. And then the Rockabilly Wrap Top, which is one of my favorite patterns, I think. It's just easy. It's really cute. I did alter the points of the tie to actually be points because the pattern has them rounded, which is kind of weird. Well, I hope that that was interesting a little and inspiring or helpful for your own pattern organization techniques or systems. If you have a different way, a better way, let me know. I'm always open to learning new and better ways to do things. So I think the only thing I'm gonna do to organize this more is to add a section, multiple sections into each board based on decade. So I can quickly look and see, okay, how many 1940s style tops do I have, etc. So I think that that will help me with my wardrobe building in the future. More on that to come. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Love the two together, so. Together, so. Together, so.